What's going on, everybody? Charles Hutcherson with the hype, and we got my boy Jason Maryland, Jeremy Briggs. Hey, man, we got TNBA Nationals here in Atlanta, Georgia. Dope, dope, dope place to be. You see, Mr. Maryland got the T-shirt on. We are currently out of those right now, but uh, we're gonna do another order here in a moment and uh, actually get some more colors here. Uh, they've been selling pretty well. People are really liking them, so. I'm happy that everybody's participating and uh, really continue to support everything that, that we that we got going on. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna toss it to them. They got here a little bit before me uh, and kind of talk about some of the houses and what balls have been working for them. Let me go ahead and jump in. And uh, yeah, we got here on um, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Uh, our first event was doubles and singles on Wednesday at noon at um, Bolero uh, Marietta, Marietta. The last time I was in town, uh, that was a mixed doubles house. Really didn't get a chance to bowl in there much, so, uh, but they were slick. So I brought, I brought stuff strictly for this house. Um, when we actually got a chance to get on a pair, we were on one and two, uh, a pair that no one had bowled on the previous set. So the shot had sat a bit. And they played pretty. Um, they played pretty tight to start out. I want to say I shot 6-0 uh, in doubles. Maybe what 6-15? I think you shot what 6 yep. 6 20. Um, throwing a mix of Columbia Explosion, uh, Track Kinetic Cobalt, um, Track Tundra, uh, a little bit of a uh, Radical Innovator. I was pretty much kind of going through the bag. Oh, and the DV8 um, Troublemaker. Uh, going through the bag try, trying to find something um like they they were playing pretty pretty slick to start with a definitive friction spot right of like six anything right of six it saw it and it jerked back so uh to keep it short and uh, sweet once i got off of doubles uh when we got into singles a spot did open up down lane i switched to the tundra had a very great look i moved probably 10 in with the tundra and faded the whole lane um 40 79 uh, I think 2-0 or something on the end for 7:30. Uh, I thought that was going to be the start of a great week. Uh, Mr. Briggs has a had a different look, but I'll, I'll let him speak to that. Uh, but it, it's been fair so far in doubles and singles for me. But his experience is a little bit different. So, you know, much like Mr. Marilyn said, uh, there was a huge amount of friction down lane. Uh, me being a little bit more rev dominant. I needed to kind of balance that out. So, Outer Limits was my ball. Uh, amazing shape, kept everything you know steady, even, and I got definitive motion. Just had to make sure I gave room and uh, for the reaction and response down lane. I said, as he said, you know, doubles looked great. Uh, played a little tighter, had a little volume, and, and things were starting to push. But as they started to open up, definitely. Definitely, where you, you had two decisions: migrate left uh, and send it, and you, you were playing a little bit more more speed. Uh, but you also had to either ball down, which did create a little bit more quicker of a reaction. So, uh, drop down from the outer limits to the messenger solid. Uh, both looked great. Uh, traded out the messenger and went to the. NV tour and it looked amazing so kind of kept that that cadence for the the one-two punch okay Good man. so that's kind of what they saw then once i did get here they bought all bowled like multiple squads and uh this is my first my first uh, doubles and singles the blades were flying uh and i didn't quite bring a mindset uh like a brunswick mindset not a actual like how I was thinking, like to, to clarify, but um, yeah, so that part, you needed that really big ball, like for, we all throw it differently, as you guys have seen, so for me, I saw a couple people have some success uh, with the, the bigger balls and just kind of blending out um, and kind of making, you know, burning up a little bit and, and just kind of rolling into the pocket, but because those balls are so huge, they carry a little bit, at least through the first, you know, two games or so. Uh, but again, I didn't have that, so it forced me quite a bit left, and you know, it, it, that's not exactly what I thought I should be doing. So I was fighting it, going through balls, trying to make sure, trying to make it work uh, for what was out there. But again, ended up using a purple hammer reactive, 
and that's what uh, I found the most success with, you know, giving it a little air time. Uh, so, yeah, man. But that was the doubles and singles. Uh, now, I haven't bowled Team House, but they have. And we're actually about to go in here as the as of the recording of this video uh, into to, to the Team House. But they have what, what worked in here, man. Actually, this will help me give me some more insight as I'm walking in. Let me take all right, so uh, Team House, at least uh, I bowled two, uh, two squads in here so far. The first squad in the middle of the house, lane 20, uh, lane 22, I, I love the shot. This was a shot where I didn't really have to get in. Uh, no further left than probably 25 for me, uh, max. Uh, the shot held up pretty much all three games. The look was there. Our team had a shot. I thought we were going to put a number up. Um, I, I think I shot 650. That said, I went 20, 20, 230 on the end, um, just to some 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 carry that didn't go in my favor. But I like the look. My team had a look. Um, I bowled the 830 squad immediately following that and went down to three and four with a pair of bowlers who have major success of all across the country, and we couldn't bust a grape on that pair. The pair was hooking to start. Uh, completely night and day difference on the low end of the house. I did hear they use two old machines here, an older machine on the low end uh, to lane 18 and then 19 to the wall is a new machine. So that that, that definitely played a factor into how the shot played um, and couldn't do nothing with it. Uh, but we about to go back in here at noon and um, hopefully we're in the middle of the house and you get to see a follow up on the success we had today. Um, how many squads you had in here so far? Uh, I'm at three. Three. Whew. So, yeah. So, so when I come down for TNBA Nationals, I try to get all in. I bowl as much as possible, as often as possible. Uh, more opportunities create success, right? Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get it right. Dial in that number. So, what I seen within uh, the team house definitely stayed in the middle of the house for the first two squads. For sure, had hold, and and that looked great. Uh, slowly could just migrate it, uh, just you know, shimmy left. What I did the first first go round, I, I did miss thinking uh, the shot was opening up, and it did the opposite. It was more push down to where you just had to tighten down a little bit. Uh, took that remedy, uh, and then actually, like I said, that first squad looked really good. Uh, front eleven. Maya Maya choked up on one, and uh, yeah. Front eleven. The, the, through one, through one a little slow, uh, dead in friction, but hey, on to the next one. Uh, next squad, actually, like, like Jason said, we had we had an awesome look. I had a very slow start. Uh, don't know what about it, it's just, it's just sluggish, whatever, but uh, we came out afterwards and start firing off. Uh, just a little too late, but I think we all found it still in the middle of the house, had a great hold. If I must say about the guy speaking, he said, we, we all found it. He found it. Uh, what he didn't say is he's in second place right now for men's singles uh, with an 830 on the board. Uh, that's on the handicap side. Regardless, he's in second place. Uh, he has a 297 on the weekend. He has a couple 270s on the weekend. Um, the most humble guy in the car. The most in the, humble in the guy the week, the week in the car <laughs> is the guy in the back seat. See. You know, so I, I'm I'm just hoping to have a bit of his success when I walk in here today. I, I had to jump in and say that because he failed to mention yeah, it, yeah. that, that I, I he just got done crowbarring him at the doubles and singles house. Um, and I will also say, me and my partner for the second go round, we did put up 1460 in doubles, so it's probably eighth right now. So. But yeah, don't, don't let the humble guy in the back fool you. The, the guy, go 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 look on the sheets on, online when they post the scores. Yeah, about to get real. So really, really real. To finish his statement, I, I will be returning, and, and I want the number. So I, I'll be going after first, and uh, we'll see if we can make that happen today. So there's a mixed double house. Uh, it, that's a free for all, but it's. It's a very playable shot, pretty much all over the board as far as balls that you can use. Uh, I used the MV Tour a little bit over there and the Purple Hammer Reactive. Um, but again, you really could get away with a lot of different things in that particular house. They, they all kind of open up at some point where you can really still play the angles that you want to play if you have the right surface. Um, again, for everybody, 
like this guy in the back is a master of service. So every time that he is bowling right, he has his pads right there, right? He's going to sit there, analyze based on that first set, come back, change things, adjust. And, you know, so if you have questions for anything like that, man, ask him. You want layouts, anything like a couple people stopped me asking me a handful of questions. I quickly directed them right to him. So on Facebook, he is Jeremy Briggs. <laughs> like You should see a logo in there. So ask him all those questions uh he's the guy i run to so again just letting the world know that so hey just refer back to that but i wanted to just briefly mention that we're not gonna make this video any longer than it has to be so thank you <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna be back uh kind of wrap things up uh for the whole for the whole weekend so until let me give you a moment ready y'all <laughs> So, it's really loud in here. <laughs> yeah, I got a mic on. You good. So, I got Kat here. Uh, we're here at Team NBA Nationals. Uh, we're down at the team house. We're actually bowling together. So, we're going to get a couple shots of her throwing the ball uh, here at this particular house. So, Kat, what did you see, man, just kind of throughout the weekend? Um, I've, I've noticed that when it comes to different parts of the house, they play different lanes. they got to figure out what the oil machines, what oil machines, oil which part of the lanes because in this house, team house, the lower end um, seems to hook a lot more than the higher end. The Ironman has a lot more holes. So that's something you have to make sure you have prepared for in your arsenal because not every lane is going to play the same. Um, but it's a pretty consistent shot when you start. Once you find it, it's there. You just got to make sure you're firm on the ball. Speed is key here. Um, so <laughs> if you relax so a little bit, key. throw it to the face. It, it dives to the face. There's a lot of four nines here. There's a lot of four sixes here. Big four, three churches. I've seen a lot on my hair. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, and what balls would you have brung here? Like if we could redo it. Oh shoot! So that video I made with all the balls that I was gonna bring, none of them worked. Um, <laughs> but they gonna work today. <laughs> they gonna they about to work right it's now. Because, <laughs> no, it's because like I know I love my hybrid. You know I love my hybrid. You love my shiny stuff. But because of the back ends are so sharp back here it just goes and it, it dives to the nose i had to find something to control the lane more so i brought my mv tour i'm using that that's pretty solid ball my knockout bruiser is a solid ball if i could bring a ball that i have been given advice about i would have brought in mindset um, just because it's a solid ball, it's a big ball, it would definitely be able to control the lanes a lot more and give me more miss room because I, here I have no miss room and I have to keep the speed on it. So right. it's kind of hard. Hey. It's kind of hard to throw it fast and accurate. I agree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Typically trying to just pick one. Yeah. <laughs> but awesome, awesome. Again, we go see her a little bit more here we're gonna get a couple shots so man appreciate your time cat and uh bow well and i'm hoping to bow well too Hope, hopefully yeah, i'm gonna be him though hey. <laughs> just like on youtube <laughs> let's see let's see this let's see this <laughs> okay well we're waiting for this ticket number we're gonna do the mr game second score if you bowl 51 151 <laughs> One So, team, uh, the team house, I used a raw hybrid <laughs> the entirety <laughs> of the set, and it get, the ball is stronger than you may, may assume. Uh, it went through the rack crazy, 
Um, I, I don't think anybody noticed that, you know, I was throwing a entry level ball. <laughs> so, hey, I, I threw some some so, some solid scores. I think I went 675, um, but a lot of pins still left out there. So, man, yeah, man, just started off a little more square. Uh, and, and for my square, it's about 20 to 25. <laughs> like that's my straighter, uh, and <laughs> that's just me and my hand. Uh, but yeah, so had a pretty solid look. You know, Jason, on the other hand, had a different uh, story. I mean, it definitely wasn't a bad story. Um, I threw the Columbia Explosion um, first and second game, most of the third game. Um, had a great look. I was in the middle of the lane, 25-10 uh, area. Uh, switched to the Tundra to finish it off. Uh, I think it was 60-50 and then 9 because they kind of fried out. But the 9 was enough to pretty much pay for the trip. Um, let me jump into Mixed Doubles too. Yeah, go, go for it, boss. Um, Mixed Doubles House, probably the best shot for me all weekend. It was the most volume. It was the easiest shot to throw. Um, and had a couple good sets there as well. Also had a front nine, six out, I'm not proud of, but Columbia Explosion also did the work there. Seemed to be my ball of choice this weekend. Uh, it was just the most consistent. But overall, great weekend. Chicago next year, I'm there. His hometown. Man, definitely gonna go check that out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the, the weekend was consisted of you know, Envy Tour, uh, Raw Hybrid, Purple Hammer, Reactive, like those were the go-tos. Uh, the Storm DNA actually looked pretty okay at the singles and doubles starting out. Uh, I wish I would have had that on the first day, but I didn't. Uh, different vehicle, long story, not gonna go there. But that is it, we lost the other member of the crew. Uh, he had to jet back, get home. Uh, but yeah, that's really it, man. You're gonna be, again, you hope you saw a lot of clips here. Um, different houses, kind of mixed everything in there and a couple other uh, guys that are a part of the group. Uh, Billy, uh, Billy Gray, he was he was there. Shout out to you, he had to get out of here a little bit early too. But uh, yeah, man, until next time. Hey, look, I'm gonna see y'all soon. See y'all soon. <laughs> All right, we out. Yeah. <laughs> this video was so sad.